Yeah, we focus great on, on the Northern River's local produce and sustainable seafood. Um, so we're going to get you set up around the bar. There's some seats and some standing. Um, and Ben's going to go through a demonstration around some seafood art printing. If we've got time, we'll do some tasters as well, but yeah, kind of up to you guys. Um, before we start, I do also have teas, coffees, water, if there's any of that sort of housekeeping things we want to do before water, we start. Water would be great. Otherwise, you might get, you know, a reproduction on the paper or something. Any other stains? That seems okay. Tray. Basically, I'm going to try and stuff that back inside and show a bit more about our region and the things that we have. So part of it is obviously you're looking at, you've got a lot of, so um, really nice. Um, one of the ones will move reasonably quickly because it might dry a little bit. Uh, you end up, you'd say, if there was little lumps basically in the ink, yeah. you put the paper down and you'd hit this one. We'll see how we go. Just to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. All these long leading tentacles, the candles. Um, but I don't know if that's a real term for a range of things. We'd always want the candles to be kept aside so we can use it for our legs. Talk about these Kyotaku fish prints, um, but I guess the reason why we're going to talk about them is because they're part of our sort of whole thought process of trying to reuse and kind of recycle and southern calamari. It's a slightly larger species of squid, good for printing. Um, the way that the squid works, you've got eight tentacles and then um, these sort of two longer legs. Where was this squid, squid caught? This one is actually from um, Port Lincoln. This is South Australian squid. The reason we're doing that is we had our heart set on doing a squid printing class right now, and that is where I could get squid from right now. We have been using in the restaurant Arrowhead squid from Ballina. That's been really good. A little bit smaller. The difference actually is, um, so you can see the, the wing on the side. This is part of what they use for propulsion when they're swimming along. On an arrowhead squid, that wing sort of stops here. The smaller one, so it looks like the head of an arrow, whereas this calamari can kind of go all the way down. Slightly different, but these are quite good for printing. They're a little bit larger. So squid, you've got tentacles, you've got legs, you've got eyes in the head. Um, inside, there's a little siphon. That's what they use to pr propel water, things like that. Um, and then we've got wings and then the hood. Squid have two hearts, which I found out recently, which I think is pretty cool. A systemic heart and a, I forgot the other one, brachial heart, that's the word. They've also got sort of two sides of the brain that run independently. So I know when you catch a squid, if you wanted to like brain spike it like you would with a fish, you have to hit both sides, because if you hit one side, you'll watch the other side of the body just go limp, but this side stays alive, so then you've got to hit the other side as well, which I think is wildly fascinating. Um, there's an ink sack in there. The ink is made mostly of melanin, um, but there's also got sort of amino acids um, and acid, which is one of the base blocks of um, the umami flavor compound. So that's why squid ink is often like, quite rich and nice and flavored. Um, beyond that, that's the most, that's about as detailed as I can get with the squid, but we'll see what's inside of this guy. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut back up in here because I know that some of this wants to be visible in my print.